how you doing? You know, I received a, a call today. Let me turn that off. I received a call today. And it was a computer this time. I received one last week as well. And last week, uh, it was actually a gentleman that actually called me, left me a voicemail. I called back to see what it was all about. But today I received a phone call from a computer. And the computer's name was Alex. And he wanted to inform me that he worked with the National Association of the Internal Revenue Service, otherwise known as the IRS here in America, right? I should just say America. But Alex and the guy last week wanted to inform me that I have a pending lawsuit that the IRS is getting ready to sue me due to the fact that I, I, I made a mistake in my taxes. Now, the reason I'm doing this this video is you're gonna you're gonna probably start hearing about these IRS phone calls, IRS letters, IRS emails uh, in the upcoming few weeks because it is tax time. Next thing is next Wednesday. No, next Tuesday is tax day. Next Tuesday. Anyway, the IRS doesn't call. The IRS does not call people. The IRS does not send emails, and the IRS doesn't send regular things in the mail. If you're in trouble with the IRS, you will get a certified letter in the mail. And when you call, it's someone who speaks English without an Indian or Jamaican accent. And both of the people that I called back uh, had a very, very deep Pakistani and Indian accent. And it's a scam. A complete scam and unfortunately people fall for it. Every day people fall for it. And that's why they do it. They continue to do it. In fact, a week ago one of my employees brought in a letter. And it was a official looking letter. Uh, so official that I read it and I looked over it a couple times. I looked at the logo. I looked at the address. It was correct. Uh, I looked at the phone number. It was the phone number for the, the IRS office here in Las Vegas. I said, man, I don't know, Grant. I think you should talk to our tax attorney. We actually have a an attorney in, in our office that's a tax attorney that also helps us with our uh, litigation lawsuits against banks, credit bureaus, and collection companies. And so we took it over to Patty and Patty looked at it, and he's like, Patty thought it was real, too. So Patty called the local agent and found out that it was a scam. But it looked real. I thought it was real. Grant thought it was real. The IRS attorney that we have on staff, uh, I'm sorry, I said IRS, the tax attorney who helps our clients with IRS problems thought it was real. But it wasn't. So the point to all this is the IRS doesn't make phone calls. They don't make house calls, right? They're not going to send you just regular mail. If you're in trouble with the IRS, they'll send you certified mail, certified letter, and don't screw around with it. Don't screw around with your taxes. So many easy ways to get around paying taxes legally that don't, don't screw around with it the wrong way. So if you get these phone calls, these emails, text messages, and craziness, uh, just ignore them. Don't even call them back. Unless you just want to have fun with them. You know, I know there's a video on, on YouTube, and he's got millions of views where he's messing with this guy. But I don't have time for that nonsense. It'd be fun, but I don't want to mess with him. I don't want to waste the time. So he says, what about gold government credit cards? I've never heard of government co- um uh, credit cards. So I'm not sure what you mean by by that. I've never heard of that. So I'm not sure how to answer that question. So anyway, if you get a phone call from the IRS, the Department of the IRS, the National Association of the Eternal Revenue Service, you can just ignore it. It is a scam. It's not even worth calling. I wouldn't even bother. See you later.